Hi guys, this is going to be a collective tarot reading. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see who is it that you're attracting or perhaps even re-attracting into your life next. There's also going to be a part two to this reading. In part two, we'll follow on with the messages in more depth and detail. And the extension link to part two is going to be made available just below the video. For those of you after a personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to inquire. My email will be listed below. Um, just reminding you all, it is a collective reading. It's not intended for one side. But if you've clicked on this reading, I believe you're here for a reason. Okay, we've got the Nine of Cups here. You're most certainly attracting someone into your life. And I feel like um, this person is certainly on their way to you. Or maybe has already entered your life or is about to enter your life. The person that is coming in towards you is definitely someone that you've been envisioning. Okay, it's definitely, I feel like this person is... Um, this is your kind. This is one of your own kind, if that makes sense. This is someone who's um, like they're responding to your energy and they're responding to your vibrations here. Okay. Um, I feel like this is someone who um, so you're bringing this person, you're manifesting this person into your world, you're manifesting this person into your reality. And this individual seems to have some very wonderful qualities, qualities that you've always found very attractive qualities that you've always admired, like traits and qualities and characteristics as well. Um, someone who I feel like this is like a lifelong partner. This person's energy feels like um, very stable. And this is someone who wants commitment. And this is someone who wants something long term. And I think it's something that you want too, which is why I, I say you're attracting someone like of your own kind or of the same kind. Someone who basically wants the very same things that you want as well. This is someone who strongly resembles your energy, okay? And this person has a very, and will have a very strong resonance with you and your energy. Someone who I feel like, like really strongly resembles like your attitudes or your beliefs um, and the things that you value as well. You're going to be very lucky enough to find a soul connection with this individual. So this person that's coming in for you, because you have the hangman's energy, okay? If this person has not arrived into your life just yet, or if there's a bit of a delay between you and your manifestations and your intentions towards this person, um, it's okay, all right? Just trust the process. Understand that it is working, even though you can't, you might not necessarily physically see it, but um, your manifestations, your intentions, have been put out into the universe and the universe is responding and this person is on their way to you. Now, for some of you, you've already attracted this person into your life, okay? This is someone whom um, you've connected with, okay? Maybe you've recently just connected with this individual, maybe you've just recently met them, or this is someone that you know because you've got the devil here and the devil oftentimes does represent the energy of an ex, okay? This could be someone that you're trying to re-attract into your life. You're trying to... Um, you know, re-manifest this person. So if you already manifested this person in your life, maybe you've already even had a, like a, she had a connection or you've had a relationship with this person and maybe things didn't necessarily um, unfold um, or they didn't necessarily go in the way that you wanted uh, for it to have gone. So maybe, you know, it didn't necessarily work out the first time. So here you are, and this is someone whom you still have a very special soul connection with. And you've obviously got some very strong ties and a very strong resonance with this person. So you and this person are both trying to re-attract each other, okay? Um, re-attract each other back into your lives. You have connected or you will connect with this person easily and very instantly, very quickly. Okay, It doesn't mean that there's not going to be any work involved in this relationship or in this connection. There will be and there has been if it is an ex that I'm speaking about here. But I think that there's this instant and this very easy connection. Okay, The process... See, the process of you trying to attract this person or even re-attract this person, it should be it should be fun, okay? It shouldn't have to be hard work and it shouldn't have to be um, exhausting. So um, I feel like it's so important for you to get very clear about what it is that you want, right? Because the Nine of Cups, this is essentially the Law of Attraction card out of the whole tarot deck, okay? This is essentially a genie who is here to grant your wish so this is why it's so important that you are very clear about your manifestations and you're very clear about your intentions okay and you're very clear about what it is that you want from out of your ideal partner or what it is that you want in an ideal relationship 
Um, the problem with manifestations or intentions, a lot of the times people focus on the negative, okay? Why a relationship failed or why it didn't work out. And this is especially for those of you that are trying to reattract an ex back into your life, okay? Um, the problem is people focus on, you know, why the relationship failed in the past, okay? You, you may have clues about why it didn't work out, but you are certainly not to focus on the negative, okay? Because that's in the past. You have to focus on the positive, okay? So this is just for example, like you might focus, instead of saying, you know, you don't want someone who will put work before you or who will put work before the relationship, um, instead phrase it differently and say, you know, you want um, someone who is going to... Um, who is going to put love before work. See, you're phrasing it differently, okay? So you absolutely have to focus on what you do want rather than what you don't want. The reason why it's so important because the universe is listening and you know, you've got the genie here, you've got your little genie here who's here to grant you your, you know, your wish or your three wishes, right? So you have to get very clear about your intentions. You have to get clear about your manifestations because they're on their way, okay? So if you're putting out a positive vibration, if you're putting out a positive intentions, that's exactly what's coming um, back to you. And I do see that what's coming to you is, um, is very wonderful, is very lovely, is very positive but you have to make sure that you stay on the right track okay and uh, you have to be positively clear make it really clear to the universe who it is that you want so if you have a specific person again if you're trying to like if you're trying to attract a certain person or even reattract a certain person like an ex back into your life you absolutely have to be very clear very specific okay go, don't go general when you go general you're going to get general so be very specific about the person that you want um i do think that the person that is coming um to you that is coming in towards you and the person that is on their way to you it is someone that you envision and they will give you the love that you desire okay they will give you that relationship that, that you want the love that you that that the love that you desire but it's important for you to know that you know it, it is going to take work all relationships are, you know, are going to be work and it is going to require that you work at it. So it's this, the person that's on their way to you is essentially your ideal partner. I think this is the person that you've been imagining and this is the person, that, the, the vision that you hold of this ideal partner, the way that they look and, um, you know, the type of relationship that you want to have with them. This is what's coming to you, that ideal image in your mind, that that one that you've been replaying over and over again, okay? So again, maybe you're really set on a specific person or maybe, you know, it's not necessarily, it is a specific person, but maybe you just haven't met them yet. So that's, I feel like you're one day, okay? And hopefully one day soon, it's that image of that person or that image of this relationship you want to have is going to play out for you in real life. And that's why it's so important, you know, the power of your imagination. That's why it's so important for you to go as specific as you can because your imagination is what's going to transform, okay? Your imagination, your intention, your manifestations are going to transform your love life. This is what's going to transform it all. And it's so important that, you know, the energy that you're sending out is the energy that you get back. So for a lot of you, I think what's really important, especially before this person comes into your life, or even if they're already in your life, I think it's so important that you love yourself as well, okay? Um, that you, because self-criticism is a negative energy, self-critical um, self talk, self-limiting beliefs. That's a negative energy and that's an energy you're probably better off staying away from because that's, you know, it's an energy that repels rather than attracts. So if there is delays in your manifestation process or if there's a little bit of a hiccups, a little bit of a setback there, it might have something to do with this self-criticism or it might have something to do with the fact that, you know, self-love is something that you need more of. And self-love is a kind of energy that attracts um potential uh soulmates and attracts potential partners right so make a list of characteristics that you love about yourself okay make a list of uh things that you love about yourself um, it doesn't matter how long this list is um the idea here is to get you generating feeling good right and this is the kind of energy that you're going to attract because the more you focus on the things that you love about yourself 
the more of this positive energy that you're going to experience and the more of this positive energy that you're sending out there. And then the person that you want is essentially picking up on your energy. They're picking up on your vibration. And, you know, this, this too is going to be someone who's going to love you just as much as, you know, you love yourself. Okay, and it's not selfish, okay? Loving yourself and looking after yourself is not selfish, guys. It's absolutely that you prioritize, um, you know, yourself. Now, if this is an ex, okay, for some of you, and I see very strongly that this person, you are connected with this person and you have history with this person, and it does give me this strong feeling that this is an ex. It's so important that you, like, or even if it's not an ex, okay, jealousy, because you've got the devil here. You've got the devil and he's sitting alongside the emperor. And I think um, what I'm getting here is messages of jealousy, okay? So if you're jealous um, about, you know, about other people, or if you even, if you express jealousy towards this person in the past, that is a negative emotion, okay? It, like any emotions of jealousy, any emotions of like criticism, um, that's negative and that's what's repelling your person or has repelled your person in the past or that's what's going to repel this connection okay um and it could be like this energy of jealousy could also be like for example if you see someone or if you know someone that you you know if you just know someone basically and this person might have like a really good relationship going on or they might have met someone and you know, they're kind of living their dream or they're kind of doing what it is that they want to do. You have to be happy for them, okay? You cannot be jealous because you have to celebrate the love that they have so that you too can invite that into your life, okay? Um, and in this way, you're communicating to the universe that that is something you want, that is something you're open to, that is something that you're inviting, right? So it's so important because, again, the reason why I feel like you know, I'm telling you this because your manifestation is absolutely on the way. And the person that you're attracting into your life and the person that is coming in for you is someone very wonderful, okay? You are attracting um, someone of your vibration, okay? And I think for the most part, you know, you are focused on the positive. But sometimes doubt creeps in and sometimes you do find yourself focusing on things that you don't want. And this is where you have to kind of shift that, okay? Make the shift from the negative to the positive, because you are attracting a very loyal partner into your life. You are attracting someone who I think has um, some very wonderful qualities, okay? Qualities that you absolutely respect and you absolutely admire. Someone who is, I mean, you've got the Empress energy, okay? Someone who's beautiful, both inside and outside, okay? And you've got the Empress and the Emperor. And together, you can build and you will build an empire. Someone very loving, very loyal, very kind. This person has a lot of empathy. This person has a lot of compassion. And there's such an emotional connectedness between you and this person. There is such an emotional closeness, a very strong emotional bond. Um, and it's so important. For, for a lot of you, your wish is being granted. This person is already in your life. Or, you know, this could be an ex. And maybe it didn't work out the first time. But the opportunity is there to give this another go. And your wish, just before your wish is being granted, it's so important that some of you don't give up. Okay, so if this person hasn't shown up in your life yet, you cannot give up. You have to refuse to give up. Because it's like, think of it this way. It's like, you know, walking into a restaurant and ordering like a really delicious yummy meal and then before your meal even arrives you walk out of the door you're gonna miss out i mean it was on its way to you but you were not patient enough to wait for it because good things take time so see what i mean it's so important that you refuse to give up um and what happens is because some of you are a little bit you're a little bit in this um energy where you're like you're disappointed that this person hasn't shown up or that, you know that the, things aren't necessarily working out with the ex and you're putting that energy out there you're putting this energy out there that your expectations haven't been met that evidence of this person isn't showing up and the devil represents this energy of fear and disappointment here right and maybe this isn't if this is an ex this is the kind of energy that um you know you've had in the past with them and it's not the kind of energy that you want to be re uh, that you want to repeat so um, once you are clear and once you are very specific about what it is that you desire, you have to commit to that manifestation. You have to commit to this intention um, for as long as it takes. And for some of you, it's going to work a lot quicker because you are very committed. And because, of, because you're so committed, you are attracting a person who is equally as committed to this, to making this work, who's equally going to be committed to your energy and, you know, who has a strong resonance 
with your energy um, and you have to you know push back against any doubt so any doubt that you have because doubt is one of the big thing the biggest things that gets in the way of and will get in the way of this manifestation okay um, it's what's going to keep it from manifesting it's what's going to keep your wish from being granted it's one it's what's going to keep this thing from um, coming right but for some of you because this is an ex the door in this relationship closed because there was a lot of negative energy there was a lot of fear there was a lot of jealousy there was a lot of negative energy there okay and you were not alignment with this person the universe is giving you another chance to come into alignment okay because there's a very strong emotional resonance and there's just a very strong resonance between you and this person but for some reason or several you guys were kind of out of alignment with each other so right now you know you are given the present moment and you're attra you're attracting what you are okay you're attracting what you are and who you are so if you're a couch potato guess what you're attracting a couch potato all right um but if you are if you desire someone who is attractive someone who's good looking someone who is very active who likes to read who likes to get out there who loves a bookstore who loves a good film that's the type of person you're going to be attracting right and and you're very specific about what you want um the other thing is don't wait okay you've got the chariot here and the chariot is all about movement okay it's an energy of movement don't just wait for this person to arrive they are coming okay if they haven't showed up yet don't just wait start living your best life so that when this person does show up you're going to be super attractive to this individual okay this person is going to want you even more and they're going to want they're going to be even more attracted to you and they'll be able to spot you easily from out of a uh, crowd they'll be able to recognize with you and that resonance is going to be um, even stronger okay um and that's one of the greatest ways to get this person into your life or to even get them into your life quicker is just becoming the person that you want to be and becoming the person that you want to attract as well okay um but this is somewhat i think this is going to be the perfect relationship or the you know the perfect partner for you or as perfect as it's as close as it's going to get to perfect basically um i think that the person that is coming in i see this person very relaxed very confident in who they are and very confident in this connection I also see this person very loving and very kind this is someone very active okay so i'm seeing like skiing around this individual or i'm seeing like uh skiing snowboarding um i see this person like getting out on the slopes um i also feel like this person is kind of preparing this space for you right now okay so this person is also like responding to your energy and is ready to meet you and is ready to attract you and is ready to be attracted you know by you and if this is someone who's already in your life, I feel like they're preparing this space. They're cleaning out their, like, for example, and they may be preparing the space, like, physically. For, uh, like, for instance, they, be, they could be cleaning out a closet. They could be emptying out, a, physically emptying out a drawer. Or maybe you're doing this because I see, like, the, the energy of space is coming up. The notion of space. So someone is cleaning out their space. Like, it could be physically, all right? So emptying out drawers, cleaning out um wardrobes just replacing things getting rid of stuff um they're just i think this person is kind of working on things to like working on ways in which they can pre prepare themselves to meet you or if they've met you they're working in ways in which they can prepare for this relationship to really flourish um and really take off um For those of you that are like sort of getting caught up in the doubt it's so important that you do not focus on the doubt and this isn't this is something that you need to put aside um i think you know your job is to clearly and positively and specifically you know keep at it with the manifestations and your job is not how this person is going to show up because for some of you you're literally thinking oh my goodness it sounds too good to be true like how is this going to happen that's not your job so it's not for you to concern yourself with okay your job is trying to figure out who it is that you want not how you want them to show up in your life because the universe is going to do the rest for, for you okay the universe is going to work its magic you don't have to worry about that you've got the nine of cups you've got the genie sitting pretty here and the genie is here to you know to grant your wish the genie is here to, um, you know, wave this magic wand and make everything happen. And that's essentially the universe. 
but you you're the one that has to work on who it is that you want to attract i feel like you and this person are communicating right now through intuition okay so even if you even if this is someone from the past and you have restricted access to this individual so for if, if it is an ex or if it is someone that you're trying to um reach but i think you're, you have this for some reason access is being restricted um I feel like you're trying you're communicating through your intuition so what that means is you're communicating um, because of the king of cups energy you're communicating through feelings okay um, you're basically listening and responding to your intuition as I as are they and through feelings okay so how they feel about you how they feel about a situation the situation and so forth it absolutely can be an ex that you're trying to reignite the spark with okay and for some of you you know, I feel this very strongly. It is an ex that you're reigniting with. And it is someone that you are absolutely, and you can and you will absolutely just be yourself with this person. So you're, um, you know, you're laughing with this person. You're crying with this person. You don't feel like you can just bring your walls down with this person. You don't feel like you have to be anyone else. Um, you just feel safe. You can easily speak to this person from the heart. And you, you'll feel very safe around this individual. Um, you know what's really interesting with the chariot card here is that notice how the sphinxes they sit like at a distance from one another and it's almost like a parallel i feel like you and this person have kind of been traveling this parallel path or this parallel road in uh, your entire life um and what that means is that you guys have like parallel like a set of parallel lines you guys have been running really close like side by side to one another and um this is the type of person that eventually when those lines meet unlike parallel lines they don't meet but eventually when your paths meet and when your lines meet i think this is someone that like it's just going to be it's just going to make sense and this is why the you know i've said earlier the connection is just going to feel very easy and very instant and very smooth because it's just going to make sense your souls are combined okay this is like a soul partner a soulmate energy and your souls are combined and you just understand each other you complement one another you absolutely get one another you've got the same sense of humor um you share a part of yourself in this person okay and there's like this soul mirror that's what i see like i see this mirror i see this parallel with this person um and your light okay you've got the hangman's energy here you've got the chariot your light is being reflected in this person's mirror and their light is being reflected in yours this is definitely a connection that i mean this is a connection that you will give and has a lot of meaning okay i also see that this person is going to not be afraid to take a risk with you okay so whatever that means for you that they'll take every risk just to keep you or they take every risk just to keep this relationship going okay so i'm gonna leave it at that in part two we just want to follow on and maybe get more of a like a physical description of what this person looks like or um if you haven't met them yet, how it is that you might meet, or if it is an ex um, and you're trying to reattract this person, when will communication or contact happen, okay? And that's going to be in part two of the reading. Thanks, guys, for watching and listening. Uh, please show your support to the channel by subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel to grow. Thank you, guys, again. Bye.